arts and culture help define what it is that we are here in North Dakota. Now as a young girl I dreamed of the water engulfing these Midwestern plains. So having um, arts programming within this rural area is so important. It's important not only to the artists but to the people that are here. Just because we live in a rural area doesn't mean that we don't deserve wonderful cultural programs. The Council on the Arts provides funding for people like me to get my music out to the public. Well, I grew up doing music here in Western North Dakota. Being a rural musician can have its challenges and was always told that you should go on and go to Nashville and move out of this place and go on and, and do something with your music and somewhere else as if that meant that you were on some level a different sort of success. But I always had such a tie to this area, singing about what it was like to grow up out here, that it was always important for me to keep that sense of place but also really important for me to move back here because I wanted to be here and figure out a way to make music here and be a successful musician in the place where I wanted to live, where my family is, where my roots are. The Red Door Art Gallery is an uh, economic engine for downtown Wahpeton. Since it started, we've had lots of special events and it's been an anchor for downtown. It's a center for our historical and cultural district. It's spurred a lot of interest in other activities in Wahpeton. It's brought a lot of federal funding into our city. We've got National Endowment of the Arts grant funding that have supported murals and, and other projects in, in Wahpeton. Prairie Rose Carousel is one of 150 restored antique carousels in, in the country. It annually gets about 20,000 riders a year, and its renovation was done completely by local artists. I think arts encourage creativity and support entrepreneurs. It needs to be a hub for young people who want to live here. It also supports downtown apartments and, and people who live here that can be stable sources for businesses up and down Main Street. We never really know what's coming up next when it comes to what our students need to be prepared for and the creativity that we get out of the students when they don't feel like there's defined measure. They don't have to have the right answer, but they do have to support why they did what they did. They still have to say, well, I did this because, and that's, that's a really important skill. I've been really involved in the Arts Council. My first step was participating in a SALT team on my first year of teaching, and now it's become a STEAM team. It's a professional development for your program, specifically for teachers. The other thing that got me going was teacher incentive grants. I wrote three teacher incentive grants to get supplies into my classroom so that my students could use the high quality watercolors and brushes that we wouldn't have otherwise. In 2009 we became a part of Art for Life and consecutive artists have come several years. They have uh, noticed an increase in how the residents respond when they come. At first they complained they couldn't do things and now they are doing original projects. Today we're working with third graders and this is a new component. The third graders are coming monthly to interact with residents, maybe eventually sharing stories and becoming pen pals and having a special resident that's here. There's definitely a positive demeanor and if an artist is staying in Langdon, then they spend quite a bit of time here and they paint or do something and the residents just flock around them and interact and tell stories. So it definitely adds a healthy aspect to their day. Over the years I've had the opportunity to uh, share some of our cultural stories here in this very Earth Lodge. But as a storyteller, it's also good to share our stories with those people uh, outside of our community and outside of our state. 
And the Cards Council has been generous in their gifting of the funds to help myself and several others as we travel around North Dakota, as we travel across our state, even overseas. The young people that uh, now who have been inspired by what they've learned in our classes from flute making and singing, it's really good what the Arts Council can do to help other people. As far as myself and my family, it's been a blessing. Long ago, they had to come to the storyteller and to the lodges like this or to a home. Uh, now, with the Arts Council, I get to go to their lodges, I go to their schools, I go to their communities. We're still welcoming the pilgrims to this land from all over the world, and the Arts Council helps us to uh, open those doors and to make it a lot easier to understand other people. Mm -hmm.